Travel the world with you Cause I know where you'd go And I know you've wanted to Since I let you close And I see the water As we fly to Rome we have a Jay, you're my best friend and my lifelong companion I can't promise to stop stealing your soda, or throwing away your ugly clothes, or <laughs> buying french fries with your tip money, <laughs> but my commitment to you is this, to follow the Lord first, and you second, to always have your back, to challenge myself so that I can challenge you, to tease you lots, to keep you young, and to seek growth and trust you even when I don't want to. My prayer is that we would live a life worthy of the calling we have received, that as iron sharpens iron, so we would sharpen one another, and that our future kids would be full of your courage and know the adventure of a life of Christ. Today, I'm forever loyal to you. I love you. Nina, I cannot believe how far we've come. Look at where we are. And I'm so excited to see where God takes us. Nina, I vow to learn and grow with you always to chase our wildest dreams together, to let you try and plan every single detail of the rest of my life, to listen to you, for your wisdom is beyond your years, to let you cry, even when I want you to be strong, to hold you when my words won't suffice, to try not to change who you are, because, well, you really can't fix perfection. But most importantly, I promise to make time for you, even when the rest of the world is screaming my name, I will still choose to love you fiercely and endlessly. On the inside of your ring, I had engraved, follow me. This was Jesus' famous words to all of his disciples. To follow Christ wherever he leads, no matter what the cost. I cannot say that this will always be easy or fun, but I can promise you that it is and will always be with it. Just as Jesus did, I too will ask you to follow me. Follow me in this life. Follow me on this incredible adventure, and to follow me as I follow him. I love you, Nina Rose. By the power invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your brother.